I'm not playing as well as I should. No minute of fire. That's that's the one where you intend to draw it and yeah. push fade it. Because they're the killers on the golf course. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I just know uh, I'm not playing as well as I, as I should be. It's as simple as that. I played the best balls as an air sport when you want to think about it. You just do it. Yeah. It's as simple as that. You just think about it. Whereas this game. So that's 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 it. Yeah. Not in it far enough. Okay. You used to see everything left to right. Since watching your videos, because you lot are never off my TV. <laughs> <laughs> the wife knows you better than anybody else. <laughs> Okay. I see, I now see things right to left. It doesn't work, it doesn't go there, but I didn't see everything going that way. My mind's all them, it's just not quite there. Yeah, but it just connects it up with yeah. the movement, so it all makes sense, yeah. as a feeling wise. So that's what I see, that's what I think. Cool. We'll let a few shots. I'm going to hit this now. Don't press yet. This is like the first team. First team, team there, there, isn't it? Absolutely. Exactly, needs to go in. Right, where do you want it? The lads are watching, <laughs> wherever you want it. Because that's, that's, that's the one where you intend to draw it and yeah. push fade it. Yeah. So you've got the start line okay, because yeah. you need to start it right for the draw. Because they're the killers on the golf course. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's the one where... So I'm going to play that shot. Now. Yeah. So what we're going to do first... Gordon, is we're going to dissociate the path in the face. Yeah. So we'll do it this way. So there, the path and the face are the same. Yeah. So the direction that ball is rolling is the path of the club head. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the face. Yeah. So you could have a, that's the path that's going okay. straight and a face that's going straight. Yeah. And that's a path that's going straight, but a face that's opening and a face that's closing. So now open the face and close the face. But Notice your, you've changed your path. Yeah, so you want to keep the same path. Yeah, but now you really need to open the face around the ball and close it around the ball. Notice how... It's going to... Yeah, yeah, notice what happens is that the path becomes the face. Yeah. And the face becomes the path, so suddenly it's all a bit jumbled up and it all just becomes long. Yeah. So that when you want to swing out that way, you end up doing putting both out, exactly. the face and the path. Yeah. Whereas we know for a draw, Cool. The face has got to be closed, impact yeah. to the path. Yeah. So if we can't dissociate from the path and the face, just doing this, at 60, 70 mile an hour, no, no, exactly, it's probably not probably not gonna recognise that release. What's happening already is your arms having to extend and rotate. Mm. In a golf swing, it's gonna extend and rotate. Your nervous system doesn't recognise these moves really, yeah. at speed or And I do feel that sometimes, you know, if I'm trying to play a drop and do that and I'm consciously saying yeah, do that. It normally ends up over there because it's not just about this. Yeah. What we're going to do, we're going to go here, and then we're going to go to the feet, and then we're going to go back again, and we're going to go through the body. That club is only doing what your wrists are doing, and that ball's only travelling in a response to what the wrists are doing. It's all about the wrists. This. So you're separating the path from the face. Now just take your club from me, Gordon. Both hands. Let's make the draw swing to me with the arms, yes, yeah, that's it, different feel. And then move around now to the face, what you're feeling where you swing back and the face opens up through impact. So the ball would be flying towards me, rolling towards me on the floor if you were to release it out of that putter, but the face is open to it, yeah. yeah. In the car traveling at 20, 30 mile an hour. Yeah. So, little, same thing there, three quarter swing, it's only going to go on the jars, maybe, maybe even less. But it's more just feeling that release there, just recognising the pattern. Well done. That's not quite the same finish. So notice when you were doing this, notice where the finish took you to. Yeah. Let's do it again, go back onto the carpet. Feel the draw path to me. And release it to me. Yeah. Pushing like this now, and the ball will be doing this, so you'd be almost yeah. having to follow it now. Uh -huh. with, instead of you're finishing like this already, you're already you're already there. So at some point in your swing, what you've done, if you were doing this exercise, you've done this, 
and it's all good and then you've gone like that yeah a few shots now doing that that same tempo gordon perfect <laughs> different feeling isn't it that? i thought we yeah powerful energy's getting transferred and you can explore this that oh, wow. Feeling? Yeah, I feel like I'm going to try it, have to. Yeah. Easy. Look how far that's going with a little flick in it. Yeah. About 140 now. Nothing moves in isolation, so when you're doing this now, the whole body's moving to facilitate, and suddenly you start looking like you're playing a draw with yeah. the whole body. Yeah. If you want to go a bit further, make more swing, but with the same ease. So you don't ramp up the speed intentionally from there you just make a bit more swing and swing at the same 30 mile an hour perfect Aye, different, that. different swing where they do it's like a different space that you're swinging through isn't yeah. it yeah look at that go sure that it's gone <laughs> little draw easy isn't it <laughs> Yeah. Look at that. Starting to feel that. Nice draws. Look how far that's going. Yeah. I've been like 10 yards at least when I was hitting the ball. I thought, good. Ready to start. And notice your weight shift. Yeah. Notice your finish. Yeah. Quite different. This time I want you to release it back and let the club swing back. So where's that path for the back? And let it carry on now on that path. Yeah and back a bit further. Okay, now hold it there. Does that feel different in yeah. relation to a normal? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, looking more. Too steep. Yeah. Let's introduce the plug. And now swing it through for that draw arc. Yeah. That's it. Different feel? Yeah. That's lovely. Yeah. As soon as we start to now use our vertical, this is, up, this is now going. Whereas what happens in your swing, and it's very good and there's so much good stuff to it, that's why it looks great and when you do time it right, you'll just get that one that just goes so much further. You rotate, you've got torque, you start to shift your weight back, then pressure back to the target. But now, now you want to deliver the club, now we want to use the vertical force mm -hmm. and go up, which is what's gonna happen. But this is still moving. This is ideally should be over here and it should, should have stopped ready okay. for you. So it's stabilized, ready for the body to go up and and use the torque from the ground. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Whereas it's still moving, so it's all unstable. So I'm, I'm still moving here. Yeah. The pressure's still, still moving, moving as you're trying to now get the power stopped. through to the end of the chain. Let's think of, uh, say, in a, being in a car and it's whiplash. The car stops, you go forward. Everything's still moving, you're, and you're trying to move. If you, if you were trying to go forward, and you see, if you break, you go forward, and you have to, it's like you'd have to do anything. The forces have thrown you forward. Yeah. Whereas if I said to you, right, we've got to go forward, but the car's still moving, you're like, you'd have to force yourself to go forward. Yeah. That's essentially what's happening in the golf swing. You're having to force the release. Yeah. Because as soon as you stop the car, bang, you get the release. Yeah. As soon as you stop the body, bang, you get the chain. So now you've got your pressure accelerating as you're trying to release that end of the chain. So you've got this end of the chain accelerating yeah. as this end of the chain's accelerating. Yeah. It's like you're practicing an emergency stop, but you don't press the brake, you press the accelerator. You've got to stop quicker, braking to accelerate, and we've got to time that with the torque. So like when you see the guys who, are, who do it to an extreme level, on say on tour, say Bubba Watson, yeah. you see stuff like this going on. Yeah. Or Bryson, you see Absolutely. stuff like this. Yeah. They're just using vertical and torque, but they're, some of them stay on the floor, some of them use their ankles more, some of them use the. They all do it different, yeah. but essentially. The results are the same. The results, results the same. They've, they've got a sequence yeah. of engineers, and all we do is we go up, and that's how you twist them back. But you don't, so you twist them back by you going up. Instead of trying to twist them. So if you were trying to twist them, you can actually, if you go up, that's what brings them back. And if you can twist, you can twist more, if you want to twist even further on the way back and go to collection, you get more torque. Because by now the, goal, the ball's gone. So instead of you going that way to try and swing it and, go and accelerate with pressure, you're actually doing the opposite, you're going up and rotating. Right and that throws the club out. Yeah. Now do the same thing, just swish it back and through the club. Feel the swish there. Different feel? Yeah. Yeah. 
So you can feel how your body starts to create the movement to facilitate that release. I've never felt that up. No. Feeling. And the whole body's not going up. What's happening is this is going up, but you're swinging the club that way and the body side bends and it releases the club out there. So you're, it's like doing this. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's great. That was too early, yeah. That's too early. But that's good, that's to be expected because that's what you currently do. Yeah. And that kind of drags your golf club then, probably left, into right. that fade finish, you see, because yeah. you've gone too early with your torque and your, everything's moving with that torque. As opposed to it being more separated, you kind of horizontal and then you go up with the torque. Yes, that's awesome. If you love the coaching, but you're not able to get a lesson and want to experience the transformation for yourself, the closest thing you can do to get a lesson is by a Zen GRF Infinity training system and experience the same things that you're seeing my pupils go through in a lesson. It's a training tool that allows you to discover your swing naturally and a two hour download of all the exercises that enable my pupils to tap into those forces and find their most natural, efficient golf swing. It's the interaction with the ground now yeah that you'll really, you'll really sense and how you can use that for your swing. Yeah, notice how late that release now. Yeah. So, so much later. And this is the fun bit. It's all fun, but this is, this is more fun now. Itty balls and see what he does. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it. And now shift your path more to the right. Yes. Nice one. Different finish there. Yeah. You let the hands yeah. carry on. Yeah. So we're, we're yeah. Here. Again, it feels like I'm undoing. You know? Brilliant. That down is way before, and then the up, even the up comes way before the club is released. Yeah. You've already gone up. Yeah. Rock it back. So then to swing back, rock it forward to swing through, but they don't go together. So it's a bang, bang, hit. Starting to separate the forces again. Awesome. Wow, my golf shot. <laughs> Excellent. There's more weight shift going on here. I don't, do you sense that on the way yeah. back as well? Good. You can let your head go, but you just don't, you just keep your chest back. Don't let your chest go with it. And then take your club in your hands and just have a shot down. So you've got, that's it, waggling into it. I've got good energy. <laughs> <laughs> Ward, you're out your sleep to die. Oh, I know. A couple of whiskies as well. Oh, absolutely. Look at that. <laughs> That's a great shot. That's awesome, that is Gordon. Oh my god. This thing's not. Different feel? No, totally. Just letting it go. Exactly, just been doing too much. And then when we want to play the fade, we just move around. The fade's the easy one. That's so easy. This is and this is easy now with that, you can just swing out. Look at that. Shot. Wow. What, and then you just, I mean, all your movement now just shows your intention. You were like this because you feel free to let your hands just swing because you know you've got this at the end of the chain, you're yeah. reacting. Yes. Shot. Great shot. We'll finish on that one for today. <laughs> for the <a> pattern. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, mate. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you. Enjoyed, Enjoyed that. that. Well, well done, yeah, me too. Yeah, it sets up perfectly that. that. It was awesome. I think it's just to see through the bag, just try and keep that. Yeah. Well we're doing that tomorrow. We're we're going tomorrow. Through it. Yeah, we'll go through the bag. If you played on a sport like football, you just you know if you if you want to go that way, you kick it out there with that bit of your foot and you know, it's where you're there. facing as well. And you're not even looking at the ball, you're not yeah. looking at your feet, you're not looking at anything, exactly. and it just happened. You were just uh, queuing, you were doing all the right stuff, and then you look at the ball, and then you queue yourself to ah. the ball again. Ah. Ah. 
So that, so that would be triggering your old movement a little bit. Mm -hmm. Whereas when you go like this, and then you move to the ball, it's like, oh, I don't know where I am now, but this is a great place. You don't want to be because what your body's doing, it's, re it's responding to this now. All right, thanks, Gordon. Thanks again, mate. Yeah, great job. Cheers, mate. Thank Boom. you.